Hello everyone and welcome back to Space Engineers where we are continuing work on our trailer convoy kind of system here. Uh, last episode we built kind of the hangar bay for the UAV. In this episode we're going to be working on this some more, trying to flesh out some finer t details for it so that it will look a little bit nicer in the long run. Uh, namely the front end, very flat, boring looking. Same with the back end. I'm okay with this little section. I might do something a little bit different for the wheels, uh, just to kind of make it look a little bit more interesting and more detailed. The top, not much I can do. I like how the gun and uh, radar dishes just make it look a little bit more militaristic. The thing that we're going to be working on though, this episode mainly, is our little UAV. So. I'm not good at building these things. In fact, I don't really know how to build them at all. So you guys are going to have to bear with me as uh, we, we try and get this sorted. So what I want to do is make something kind of like a, oh, and that just fell off an actual drone so if you think like a, a, a drone in modern days that's something that I want to try and make it look like there we go and that's why I'm using the laser antenna attachment we're also going to use another um, antenna attachment on it as well though I haven't really messed with the laser ones yet so I don't quite know how they fully work They will be probably battery powered. I feel like might be the best here. I'm going to increase this one because what we need now is technically a connector. So battery can be taken out of our carrier and stored in the UAV for use eventually. So this is kind of the core battery pack uh, antenna of the item. Don't get me wrong though, we do need that normal antenna, since I don't really know how the laser ones work just yet. And I wouldn't mind just a plain old ore detector somewhere. In fact, I'm gonna put the ore detector in the middle there. And we need a camera at some point. And then we also need a control block as well. So the control block, that right. There we go. We'll go there. And then the camera will go just like that so we can see exactly uh, where we're going and moving the ship around. Yeah, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Now, how much room we have in here is kind of dictated by these flaps. Um, but if I had to guess, we only have about a five block width to work with here. And we have already used three of it. So we only have one more block on each side to do interesting things. And so the design challenge is pretty much this point on. Um, let's go ahead and maybe throw these little arms on here. And then I can put some atmospheric thrusters on it as well. So it can hover. That might actually be a good feature in the long run, you know, being able to fly. And we should probably square this up as well. Now because of the way we're kind of designing this with a connector now, when I really wasn't planning on having a connector, I'm going to have to redo the floor of our cab. And so these are things that we needed to figure out to finish the detailing on here. So we got our ore connector, we got that. Let's go ahead and get a... 
efficiency does it does it need any armor pieces it probably does but these are the moments where I kind of wish there was a half block to use because you can only do this so many times there we go actually that's put that center line in there so we can actually work in symmetry mode. Might be a good thing to do. Now the hover function of course is going to take most of its power. So we will use just two engines kind of facing everywhere else. At this main drive and kind of braking here. Now the left and right motion we might not need it will make it a whole lot easier if we did have it, but technically I can tilt the ship to cancel out any thrust in that direction. So really, how much it will help is a little up in the air. We build one. Alright, so let's put that there. We need an antenna. Which we can put there. In case one gets locked out, we still have a redundant backup antenna. Yeah, let's put some, some extra armor bits. And bulk it up a little bit. Some sort of detail. Always good. Actually, I could probably put the antenna back here. That way the front can stay a little bit more clean. You know, I like that. that that's, that's better. We're getting there. Definitely getting there. It's looking a little bit like a drone. So let's grab our control panel that we kind of need here. All right, gain access to its systems. Make sure it is all owned by me. And then, now let's see, can I name this thing? No. How do I name this thing? Name remote control. Let's. How do you name a ship? Info. Is this it? There we go. UAV one. Okay. And let's. Disconnected from its safety points. It does hover. That's a good sign. That's pretty sleek. Streamlined. UAV 1. And remote control. Control. Put the camera on the bar. So we can view. And we can. So off we go. Uh, oh, oh, the control is inverted, so I think I, yeah, I made the control block upside down, which isn't necessarily good, but it does hover.
All right, well, let's... Let's flip the control block around real quick. I think that's something that I need to do. So it was like that. We can flip around like so. The new camera. And that's facing the right way too. Access the control panel as it just slowly drifts off. Me, got it. Remote control, control, G for camera again. All right, there we go. That's, that's better. It actually kind of flies like a normal, normal quad copter, you know? Another way to level it out is just level it to the horizon and just spin your ship a little bit. And that'll do essentially the same thing as tilting it. But yeah, it's in the air. That looks that looks decent. Decent enough. I could move these forward thrusters forward one and maybe squeeze in the side thrusters if you feel like it's necessary. I don't think it's really necessary to do so. But I know what it does need. It needs some spotlights. So you can drive it at night. Which means we can actually get rid of those. For some lighting. Oh no. No, no, no. Let's, let's not do that. What are you doing? What is this thing doing? It shot my controls off. Uh, it's, it's going rogue. It is going rogue. And I know why. Because apparently I'm freaking hostile to just, you know, everything on this thing. All right, let's. Put a new control block on here. You know, I really wish when I built something, it would just default to my ownership so my turrets wouldn't do that. Okay, okay, come on. Come back here. No, don't do that. Okay. Transfer to me. Got it. Our laser antenna took some damage from my transport for some reason. I don't know why. It freaking just crashed. Okay, so since my game crashed, here we are. I have recovered our drone and I moved it away so it wouldn't get shot if we add just random bits to it. So I was thinking, you know, it might be best to actually add those side facing thrusters it's just not, in my opinion, feasible to expect a perfect balance all the time. And so, uh, I'll just add one thruster on each side. And then what I'll do is... Hope it fits! Because <laughs> I have no idea. Because if I, we did our math right at the beginning, it's not going to, but, um, you know, what, what can I do about that really right now? Except for try, as this will make it so much easier to control, it, 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 it'll be pretty nice. Alright. So we have that set up. I put on some lights, so we have our front-facing lights and one bottom-facing light. Just so people below us can see it's coming. We go in here and I'm gonna set up my lights here. You know, we'll just go with a kind of a neutral blue. Increase the radius a little bit to three meters. I'm gonna lower the intensity down though. On all of them. No blinks. The first two, I believe, are front facing lights, so I'm gonna actually increase the intensity on that one. But the bottom one, 
Um, you know, I don't want it to be very tense. So we'll go ahead. Drive UAV-1, uh, which I apparently copied instead of removing this old one and doing so. There we go. Now I can actually know which one is the real UAV-1. We are flying it now. All right, it flies. Would you look at that? Saving room with no top thruster, but on a planet you don't really need them. Unless you like to angle yourself a whole bunch, but this this is just a drone. I don't need to do that. Wow, it's just not doing it. Like that should just be snapped in, locked down, and everything, but snap. You know what? I think I know what it is. And if that it's the case, then this is stupid. This game. Transfer to me. Yes. Thank you. Cool. Okay. Let's control the UAV. Transfer to me. Yes. Thank you. Oh, would you look at that. It didn't like the fact that I didn't fully own the craft. That's a silly system. But that means I can put this wall back because that obviously wasn't of the issue. Okay, so here it is. This is the final look of the UAV. I painted it blue and gray with a black kind of laser antenna. It works well. I'm gonna go ahead and zip around a little bit on it. The trailer still needs uh, some final touches, which I'll probably be working on in between episodes, but yeah, it's effective. I need to raise up the doors a block so the thing will actually close behind it, but until then, um, we are just going to zip around on this little thing. I really wish the camera didn't have this silly filter effect on it anymore, because really it's a little annoying. Maybe a slight one, but this just feels just a little excessive at this point. Let's see. But yeah, it flies fairly fairly well for a little drone as I try and not crash. Okay. I don't think we did. Good. There you go. My my flying skills is ever improving. So Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more creative goodness. Go ahead and leave a like button. Uh, leave a comment down below and want me to build next. You know, uh, now that the UAV kind of area is done, more suggestions are able. Though I am running into kind of a limit on the convoy. Really, I was trying to drive around earlier and it's very unyieldy just because of how heavy it is. So it might not be uh, something I can add too many other attachments to in its current form. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, have a good one.